With winter solstice on December 21st, it is officially winter now. This is the first snow of the season and I cannot wait to connect with it. Look at this beautiful part of the nature. Now what makes this snow or even rainwater so profound is that it is structured. Now any water can be made structured by photons. That is by sun charging it, which is absolutely healing for the body. Structured water is just water that has its molecules organized. It holds no memory and has pushed out all toxins from itself. Winter isn't just tough for some animals, but is also for trees. Only because these are in a constant state of meditation, they withstand the cold so well. Something very beautiful about meditation is, we all too can be in a constant state of meditation while doing what we do. We will just be more efficient. I understand it could be intimidating for some, because it is thought meditation requires us to sit in a certain posture, breathe in a certain way, have a mantra going on perpetually, or concentrate on having no thoughts. If you think so, you need to unlearn it. Meditation is simply a practice of mindfulness, a state in which you are aware of what you are doing. I learned it the hard way. You are too much consumed by the thoughts. Thoughts like whether or not we should do it, will it yield money, is it a good career to continue with. Whereas the right question and the only question we need to ask ourselves is if this is what we love. Remember that thoughts are byproduct of meditation. The more you practice it, the more you're able to control your thoughts as you wish. So when you are focusing on certain activity, if you are able to recognize the thoughts that cross your mind meanwhile as just another distraction, and shift your focus back to what you've been doing, you must know that is meditation. We all have been meditative for a fraction of time in a day, mostly while doing things we love. That does not require us to forcibly focus. Just because we were not aware of it, we don't remember it. Which proves the point, it is important to do what you absolutely love to. When it comes to career, if you do not know what it is, sit back and try to figure out what are things you are naturally drawn to. Everyone is naturally inclined to something. Now in order to achieve what you love and want to be, it is necessary to do what you should, which requires discipline. It is easy when you do one thing at a time and be completely mindful of it. Remember, if at any moment you feel miserable, it could be because you let your thoughts consume you by not recognizing them as just another thought. But there is this one question that bothers a lot of us and I feel it's valid. The question, which field yields the most amount of money? It could sound funny. But let's understand this in a different light, in terms of nature of Mahalakshmi.
Malakshmi is agile if you know. She likes to keep moving. If tried to kept trapped, she finds ways of escaping. Maybe through medicines, shopping, other expenses. But there is one thing Malakshmi is very fond of. Focus and cleanliness. Having both mind and workplace free of clutters can make you very productive. Here I am trying to create a shivling. Something you might not be knowing about Lord Shiva is he doesn't have a physical body or anything like he is portrayed because he is a dimension and the way he is portrayed holding a dambru, a trishul, a serpent are only a visual description of the dimension. Like the trishul represents three states of life, conscious, unconscious and subconscious. Hence these images can't be completely disagreed with. I will repeat, you can meditate anywhere, anytime, while doing anything. Even you can be meditative throughout the day by being mindful of the present moment, having awareness of the surrounding, the sound, colors, people. Do not let any thought bother you. Know that they are part of the mindfulness. Also remember, Forgiving yourself and not dwelling is also a part of it. I will end this video with a last note. Remember we all are part of the same consciousness, just with different bodies and identities. Have faith in yourself and love for everyone. When your intentions are right, and you put your energy in the form of focus, things will happen just as you wish. <laughs>